Yo, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Jamal Labiade and welcome back for yet another YouTube tutorial. This video is three ways how to check the BPM or tempo of any audio clip or sample inside Logic. If you guys do find this video helpful, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And when you subscribe, make sure you hit the notification bell. Also, welcome to 2023. It's a new year. Please drop some new video ideas and some tutorials you guys want to see in this new year. Comment right now. Drop some ideas for me to do. But look, you guys, enough of all that. Let's get into this video. So this is how you get the BPM and tempo of any audio clip when it doesn't come with the audio clip. So when you open your track, it's gonna start off as 120, boom, 120, cool. Um, next thing you wanna next thing you wanna do is find a sample, a loop, a beat, anything that you need the BPM for. So I'm gonna use my sample kit, Pretty Girls Love Samples Volume One, um, out now, JamalAbiade.com, and the link will be in the description. As you see on the side, my BPM actually comes with all my samples. I do that for you. But let's say if you didn't if you didn't know how to get it, how would you get it? So let's say this song right here. Yeah, that's great. So as you see, this BPM is 111 BPM. So usually I'll just go change, change this up here to 111 BPM. But let's say it does not say 111 and I don't know what it is. The first way to change the tempo is using an effect plugin. When you start, make sure you highlight the track you want to find the tempo. It's right here. If this is closed, make sure you have the eye on the inspector. Go to audio effects, go down to meter, metering. It's gonna be BPM counter, simple as that. It works best when things have drums and things they can count. So just like this, we're going to let it play. One eleven, simple as that. Look at that. One eleven, change that to one eleven. That's the way I normally use. And that's the way I usually always use one eleven. All right. Another way to do it is very simple is uh, my right click method. Right click it. Control click, go down to tempo, uh, uh, apply region tempo to project tempo. That's what you want to click. So do that. Um, it's going to say align downbeat to the nearest project downbeat. Don't do that. You click this one, maintain relative positions of all other regions. And when you use this method, don't do this when you have a whole bunch of audio clips already in there. Do that. You're putting a beat into the uh, an instrumental or a beat into the project, and you just want to find out what the tempo is before you rap on it. So let's do it again. Apply. Boom, went right to uh, 111. That's the second way. Second way is right clicking. And the third way, let's go back to 120. The third way is very simple. It's called smart tempo. So we got this bounce loop right here. Cool. Let's, let's find the tempo for this bounce loop. One thing about smart tempo, smart tempo works best when there's rhythmic and it has drums in it. If it's a loop with no drums, smart tempo is really not the one you want to use. But if it has drums and it's rhythmic, you can definitely use that one. So you want to double click it. Boom. Look, this pops up. Track, file, smart tempo. All you have to do is double click. Boom. That's all. Track, file, smart tempo. When is that smart tempo? Analyze. Look at that. Boom. Uh, 99.9. I'm thinking it's probably really 100, but 99.9 is perfect. But let's keep on checking. We can check another way. BPM counter. Boom. Let's see if the... I'm thinking it's closer to 100. I'm thinking it's closer to 100. And there you go. That's three ways to do it. So those are the three ways to check tempo and BPM of any audio clip that you have. Okay. I hope you guys learned something. If that video helped you, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And if you did like the sample I was using, that is part of my sample kit, Pretty Girls Love Samples. That was volume two, but I have volume one, volume two, and I have a bundle pack for an even cheaper price. So go check that out. It's on JamalAbiade.com. And the link is in my description. But look, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll be back next week, same time, with another YouTube Logic tutorial. All right? I'll holla at you. Cheer.